Hi there guys, welcome back to the Fountain channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can mine Fluxcoin. Okay guys, as you can see at the moment, Flux is at the second position on what to mine for the most profitable coin to mine at the moment. Now, as I say, when I say profitable, it's not profitable as far as like electric costs as far as where I am at the moment. So, what you're going to need to do is get yourself a wallet and what I've done myself is I'm personally mine in mind to trade ogre to an exchange but you can actually get zelcor and get yourself a wallet through that way but as i say for myself personally i will be using trade ogre uh, the exchange just because i've mined multiple coins through to them and i've never ever had an issue with you know moving and transferring and selling them and things like that so i trust them as a platform so i'm happy to receive my coins there so, once you're happy that you have yourself a Flux address, what you need to do is take yourself back to where it was before and pick yourself a pool that you'd like to mine to. Now, there is multiple other pools that you could mine to as well that may not be on this list here. And you can find these over at miningpoolstats.stream. But for this, for this is, we're going to use in um, fluxpools.net. So... Let me just have a little look over here. Okay. Now, one thing as well that I wanted to mention as well with this pool, guys, is that when you do jump on there, it does seem to have some sort of uptime little A program. So I'm assuming if you keep your uh, rigs on there or you know A rig on there for a period of time, then you know you would be in for a chance for their weekly flux lottery and uh, the uptime lottery program so that's quite interesting as well and also as well this pool does offer um, a zero percent pool fee so that's also the reason why i would also recommend this pool okay so we're going to need a miner so that we can download flux and the miner that we're going to be using is law miner 1.61 I'll leave the link for the GitHub in the description for you guys. So what you need to do is just go ahead and click on the Law Miner Win64 if you mine this on Windows. As you can see, I've already done that there, but I just wanted to show you guys that it does pop up as a dangerous file. So if you just press Control J, press Keep, Keep anyway, and then what we're going to do is go ahead and open this and put this onto our desktop. Okay guys, so welcome to my messy desktop. So what you're going to need to do is find the folder that you downloaded and create a new folder. Name this LOL Miner. And 1.61. Drag and drop this into the folder. Extract here. If you don't have a folder file to actually be able to you know, extract this or you don't have an extracting tool, then make sure you download something like uh, 7-zip or WinRAR unless your computer doesn't have anything you know, pre-ready installed for you. So what you need to do is find Flux, edit, and then let's go back to the pool and copy the script that they gave us prior. Okay, so back on fluxpools.net. So what you need to do, if you just click on to the script that we put together on the config generator, if you just click that one time, that'll copy to your clipboard. So what you need to do is go back down and find the Word document that we just opened up prior. Now what I do is I'm just going to paste this in here for this. I'm going to go ahead and recopy the flux address and then the worker's name and then I'm also going to as well go ahead and take the pool address and change that in there as well okay so that's already got the same port anyway so there's no need to actually change that anyway that's fine okay so now if we just save this file and then we go ahead and let me just close off what I'm already doing on there. And we run this. We should now be successfully mining Flux. And I do plan on just, you know, 
bit by bit mine a little bit of flux here and there because I actually haven't uh, been collecting any and uh, seeing as it's been you know on its way just up a little bit uh, I do feel like uh, I do want to add it to my you know portfolio ever so slightly even if it's just a small little bit amount of the coin okay so now that we're successfully mined in flux what we're going to do is just go ahead and copy our address and you can close that off now there's no need for that to be open this is fine as long as it's left open and take ourselves back over to the pool could have probably copied it off of there as well go back to the dashboard and find your miner's address and then paste it in the address that we just had there so control V that and there we go it has I think found my rig from the looks of it, I don't know if it's loading up there give it a second to load to let us know what's going on with it but as I say this is one of my first times using this pool um, like I say I do find it quite interesting that they have the little bit of a loyalty thing to it I may like I say try my best to you know keep a card up for as long as I can do uh, with Flux as I say if you do check back over at uh, on on the what to mine it has been holding itself up pretty strong you know on, the, on what to mine as well it has always been you know within the top 10 i would say for that you'd even know you know you've had like meow coin and uh you know conflux and things like that pumping up i mean conflux doesn't really have much market really behind it and you know meow coin uh, they do have a great team and things like that behind them but like i say potentially you know it is uh still you know technically one of those meme coins and it could just you know drop you know within within seconds really so you always have to be careful and make sure that you are okay guys so as you can see the stats have started to load now on flux pools which is great so we are successfully starting to mine it says my estimated rewards i think for the day will be uh, 0.185 so that's probably just because the average hash rate probably hasn't even built up yet so given a little bit of time this probably will update and let us know exactly how much you know flux that we'll mine and also we'll also see the actual balance sheet itself you know update and things like that okay so our balance is now showing 0.004 and that's within around about 30 to 40 minutes of it mining so it's slowly starting to build up and starting to receive payment which is you know which is great Okay guys, so if you took anything from this video or you've learned anything, make sure to drop us a like and subscribe to the video. Make sure to hit the notification bell as well to make sure that you are updated on when I actually update you guys with new information, new videos that are coming out. But as well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.